Hi, Lord of Life family, it's Katie. Today, I want to talk to you about something I wear while reading my Bible that helped me to read it better. They're kind of like glasses, but not these. These are my regular glasses. So if you've got a Sunday school kiddo watching with you, they already know what's coming as soon as I take off my glasses. These are my Jesus goggles. They're what I use when I want to encourage the LOL kids to look for Jesus on the pages of the Old Testament. I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, Katie. You said you were looking for Jesus on the pages of the Old Testament. Jesus wasn't born until the Gospels. So what makes you think that the Old Testament is about him? Well, I'm glad you asked. The answer is that Jesus himself said that the Old Testament was about him. In Luke chapter 24, two men are walking on the road between Jerusalem and Emmaus when Jesus appears to them. They strike up a conversation with him about recent events. The week prior to this event, Jesus had been arrested and crucified. He is risen now and standing with them, but they don't recognize him. One man says, but we had hoped that he, Jesus, was the one who was going to redeem Israel. I can imagine them wringing their hands at the distressing news that their hopes for a Messiah and this man were seemingly dashed. And then, and then, Jesus does something that I wish I could have been there to witness. In verse 27, Luke says, And beginning with Moses and all of the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. Wow, Moses wrote the first words of the Old Testament. So when Luke says, beginning with Moses, does that mean that it all points to Jesus? The creation, the Garden of Eden, the fall, the law, Noah, the Exodus, King David, the Psalms, everything? Yes. I challenge the LOL kids to search for Jesus in the stories of the Old Testament. When we talked about Jonah being in the belly of a big fish for three days, they wore their Jesus goggles to see that it foreshadowed Jesus being in the belly of the earth for three days between his crucifixion and his resurrection. During the lesson story of the Exodus, we talked about how God used Moses to free his people from slavery in Egypt and then put on our Jesus goggles to talk about how Christ's advent, death, and resurrection freed all of us God's people from our slavery to sin. It's more than just a story or two. He tells us to put on our Jesus goggles as we read through the Old Testament. It isn't an ancient history book that became irrelevant the moment that Jesus steps onto the scene. It sets the scene for who came down with human skin on as a baby in a manger. It tells of prophets, of priests, and kings who foreshadowed with precise accuracy and literary beauty the story of a man who would become our prophet, priest, and king. It sings his praises in the Psalms. In Song of Solomon, it speaks of his desire for an intimate relationship with us, the people that he loves so much his bride, the church. In Ruth, it paints Boaz as a kinsman redeemer. This couple isn't just in the Davidic line to Christ, but it gives us the picture of a redeemer who would come to save us all. We can find Jesus on each and every page of scripture in both the New and Old Testaments. This is the word of God, and Jesus is the word made flesh. Maybe you already see him there, and that's great. Maybe this is a new notion for you today. If you'd like to dive deeper into this idea that Jesus can be found all over the Old Testament, I have two book recommendations for you. Both The Christ Key by Chad Bird and The Emmaus Code by David Limbaugh are excellent resources for you to don your Jesus goggles. In verse 32 of The Emmaus Road Story, the two men asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he walked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? That is my prayer for each of you, LOL kids, young and old. Lord, open the scriptures to your child watching today. Make his or her heart burn with your love for them in Christ Jesus. Amen. Have a great week. See you Sunday.